What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas, Fallout New California. Same intro as always. This is a follow-up to the New California mod prequel storyline. I'm playing a whole playthrough of Fallout New Vegas based on that original beginning, uh, thus explaining why we are a level 29 and we have a whole bunch of other quests done that have nothing to do with the actual story. So, uh... One thing I want to do real quick is kind of clear out Freeside. Last episode, we spent time helping the followers of the Apocalypse. Uh, we also helped clean up the town simultaneously while helping out the Atomic Wrangler get new prostitutes and sources of booze. Uh, but they don't seem like their intentions are malicious to get people hooked on drugs and alcohol. They seem like they're kind of content, you know. Uh, with the sales they have but now we are going to the silver rush and following the silver rush we will be going to the kings so let's see what we can do welcome to the silver rush new vegas is best source of laser i'm afraid i'm gonna have to search you before letting you in the only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling search or should only take a moment there i've stole all of your weapons you clear to enter when you leave i'll hand them all back to you Yes, sir. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before Keep leaving moving. this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation hope to adjust the price accordingly ah I think I understand what the issue here is excuse me for a moment would you do it never break faith with the Van Graffs Mr. Soren I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning okay everyone show's over back to work What's up, Gloria? You Welcome don't... to the Silver Rush, where only top of the line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Uh, any work? It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Sure. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. I know Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. I got you. Hey, Simon. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. I am your new guard. Why are you so upset about that? Well, no time for pleasantries. I've got your gear right here, but let's see if you can follow instructions. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Okay. All right, Boone. I wish I could, like, tell Boone where to go. Boone, go over there somewhere. <laughs> Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area while I get your gear ready. All right, give me my shit. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation bag. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Okay. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not started here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. 
We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. All right. Do I got to put on my uniform or something? Guard the Silver Rush, okay. Settle in. You got some hours left before your shift ends. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. This guy's the drunk guy, I believe. Hi there. Yeah. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Yes, sir. Another one coming. You're on. Give Boone's on guard, bro. Should we get paid double? Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Okay. Looks like we got another customer. For some reason, this guy was looks like uh, Volpe Sincanta, the guy that is Caesar's, I meet on the strip, that's from Caesar's Legion. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Okay. We're going to pat you down for weapons, though? Hold so? on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? No, why didn't you... I suppose it's alright. If there's no other choice. He's clean. Nice. See? Told you so. Alright, the fucking go inside. Stop being a dickhead about it. That was pretty good, right, Simon? Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. What guy? That guy? All the way over there? Just hanging out that thirteen year old, that's disgusting. What a fucking pervert. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Hey! What in the hell do you suppose that was about? We're gonna hold this revolver. Fine by me. Gonna be hard, gonna be hard covering you when I can't move my legs. Fuck off, Lord. with nasty ass attitude, bro. Help me clean this up. No one's gonna want to shop here with a corpse out front. Boom. Back up. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, rookie. Things are about. Let's see what that note said, though. To whom it may concern, if you are reading this, I am likely dead. I can only hope that I have managed to take out some of those thrice damned Van Graffs with me. My family deserves that much, at least. So he just had a revenge mission against the Van Graffs for his family. Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. You can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in. Oh, let me just stand here. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? That's a good dog. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. There's hope for you yet. 
It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Okay, let's get inside. Oh, let's go actually take what this person had. Two dollars, I'll take it. Hey, Gloria, what's up? Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Beautiful, thank you. Unfortunately, Woo! I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. Always. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Okay, cool. Let's get out there and go deliver our Van Graaff package. Hey. I like how I said it was closing time and he's still here. Oh. I'm gonna put our clothes back on, guys. And we gotta get rid of this stupid plasma gun that we have. Hey, hey, hey. Contact. Oh, fuck. This. Are they gonna murder that guy now? Is Boone just like, oh my god, Boone, what are you doing? Boone, you're being ridiculous, bro. I'm just throwing shit. I noticed the load time is a little bit more with the, uh, <laughs> these uh, texture mods, obviously. I mean, it has to load in better textures. Actually, reload our sniper rifle just in case we run into some trouble out here. We probably will. It's the fucking wasteland. We, it's literally, it's, it's middle name is trouble. Mojave trouble wasteland. Here's some kind of rattle. I didn't know what that bubbling noise was. I think it was like the ground or something. Oh, boom! Fuck off, boom! Can we see the sunset in the reflection? Oh, wow, we can. Very cool. I think this might be our delivery job right here. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? I am. Do you have what we requested? It's right here. Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. We've already concluded our business. I suggest you return to your employers. I will, but right after I see what's over here. Let's get over to Raoul Shack or Raoul Shack, whatever this is called. Again, the sky always gets me. Like, look at this transition. You can see how the atmosphere is... Like, the, the blue of the atmosphere is kind of fading and nighttime is kind of taking hold. Very cool. Let's go check out the shack, though, see what's going on over here. It's doctor's bag, though. Stop.
All right, let's eat something. We eat a lot. I can't get, I can't drop things right now. Maybe if I unplug and plug this back in, perhaps. There we go. I was stuck on the uh, PC uh, weird command. It, it was just very strange. I don't know. But uh, we are back. Let's see. Drop some of... We'll drop all of our sensor modules. That will bring us down to perfect weight. We'll come back to Raul Shack if we need it. But look at the wasteland lighting. Oh my god. Or look at the Vegas lighting. Let's get back down to the Van Graffs. Go to the strip, the north gate. We're gonna have to discover everything around Vegas soon. Oh, we are not here yet. These lights are cool though. It's funny how these guys work for 24 hours, seven days a week. Okay. Damn, guys, it's dark as fuck in here. You guys gotta get some lights. Outside is better lit than in here. Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? I have news. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Absolutely. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Who's this girl? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Really? NCR all around her. Well, tell you what. You find a way to bring her here. She'll want to hear what I have to say. You don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, then you're no use to me or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on. Try. If your answer isn't yes, I'll bring her here, or no, I won't because Gloria had me pegged wrong, then we're done here. I got business here. Need to watch the shop, make sure things are running smoothly. Besides, if I came for the girl, I'm not all friendly and charming like you are. She might get the wrong idea. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. Hey. One wrong moving. <laughs> hey. Okay, cool. So we need to get Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Um, but before we do that, I think that. Let me see. Let's go let um, Alice McLafferty know that we finished delivering her package. We might even hold up on getting Rose of Sharon Cassidy. I might want to find a way or think of a way around that so that I don't have to commit to getting her killed because I know that she dies. Let's wait till good seven, eight in the morning, something like that, when the sun's up. Nice orange fading into purple and dark sky. Beautiful. It's like a fucking ice cream cone. 
like Sherbert. She's definitely still sleeping, but let's go wake her ass up. Get up. We got shit to talk about. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Welcome back. I delivered the invoice just as well, you asked. you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? What other work do you have? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. Okay. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Fair. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. I don't know what the benefit of doing the gunrunner job is, but we'll we'll do that for now. And nope, oh, that's a bathroom. Okay, that is not the exit door. Let's go and seems like there is one person in here. Hey, is this our guy? No. Keep an eye out for Damn, one. really? Okay, I guess that wasn't this wasn't the door. <laughs> Um, so, first things first, go to Gun Runners. That's going to be that one. Second thing, we got to go to the Mojave Outpost to go to her. But where's this third option? Let's go do the Freeside uh, Northgate first. I actually don't know if I have... How much more XP do we need? We're 3,000 still. Um, do I have any stealth boys? I don't know if I do. I do. I have five. Oh, maybe I can get away with it. Have Boone wait outside because he's a dummy. He'll get us fucking all caught and killed. Alright, so we're going to go into Freeside first. Um, and turn around... Going through the north gate. Hey. I think this might be where those guards are. The guys standing at the doors wondering. I can keep you safe, my friend. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. Freeside's a dangerous place, my friend. Okay, so yeah, this is the way I was looking for originally. Um, he is over here, and I think we have to go in and talk to, I don't know, I don't know exactly where he is, but I'm pretty sure he might be by the Wrangler somewhere. Oh, yeah, we are in the Wrangler, where we are good friends with the owners, so let's get in there. Shove off, you're making my luck turn bad. Fuck no! No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? What? 
No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. Cool. That was easy. How's it going? Let's go to um Mojave Outpost and try to convince Cass to sell her caravan. I think we could do this pretty easy. I think I did this really easy last time. But drive shit on my nose, horrible. I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Did the sky just change? <laughs> we'll have to look back at that in the editing. Oh, uh, here we go. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Um. <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Yes. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad, it'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. Prepared to offer you plus of... What did you just say to me? Cause you sure as hell got my attention now. Who believes in holding on to a dead caravan? Me, that's who. I'm not gonna let it go just yet. There... There might be some survivors, or... Oh, who am I kidding? There's nothing left. And I wouldn't be here drinking in some shitty bar in the ass and in nowhere if it wasn't true. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. You got one too many by my count. Jean Baptiste. Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. So who is this Baptiste and what does he want? The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff, and I don't know her all that well. Nor do I want to. Don't have any objections speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs, he should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. What's... Okay. We're going to leave her right here for the time being. Because, again, I don't know if I really want to throw her to the wolves or to the Van Graaff wolves. Who's this person up here? Patrolling the Mojave? You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Hmm. Maybe Jackson got some additional soldiers after all. Didn't take you for a trooper at first. You seem a little livelier than most. All right. If you're here to assist, good. That's what I want to hear. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. 
Let me know what you find. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... <sighs> All right. Thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. In Nipton? Hell no. The town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting. But orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell. And all I can do is sit here and watch. Nice, okay. Keep your eyes on the prize? That was a was that a quest that I had to do? Let's see. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's cool, though. Okay, cool. And I think the next step would be to go back to the gun runners. Let me actually let my dog out real quick. Going into the gun runners building. Don't know if I can sneak in there or do this without alienating the gun runners, but let me see. Boone, stay here. Let's see where we are in this. That was pretty easy, to be honest. That was going to be a lot harder. Come on, get on out, get on out, get on out, get on out, get on out. Nothing to see here, guys. Alright, let's go to Alice McLafferty. Uh, and I guess rally up this quest. We just finished. I've never done the Gunrunners thing, but that was much easier than I thought it was going to be, to be completely honest. I like a cough. I'm sorry about that. What's up, Mick? Laughs. Uh oh. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Welcome back. I got everything you wanted. <laughs> I hear it's business as usual at the gun runners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. Cool. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. I just threatened Thank to reveal his gambling same. debts to the people who he owes. I'm happy to be rid of that man. Me too. Something has actually come up. A prospect nice, recently there we go. came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Okay. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. Okay. The most likely source of these new caps is the old Sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there. Locate the bottle cap press and disable it. What would you like to know? Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. 
Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We make it a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video here and we'll start the next one by going to the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Still invisible, I don't even know how the hell she's seen me. But yeah, no, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. We got a few things done today just to kind of go over what we did. We, uh, what did we do today? We worked for the Atomic, oh, not the Atomic Wrangler. We worked for the Silver Rush. We did a delivery for them to someone I believe was in the Legion, uh, like low-key, he was in the Legion, I think, I'm suspecting that. Um, we returned back, we got a job about Sharon Cassidy, and then we came in over here to turn in uh, a delivery that we made to the McCarran uh, Airport, uh, which is the NCR base of the scientists that we did a few episodes back. We turned that in, got our reward for it, and then we got a new job where we had to, just as you've seen, uh, basically take care of that guy, get him to quit, get the gun runners manufacturing, and buy out Crimson, uh, buy, buy out Cassidy Caravan. So, that's it, gonna be it for this episode, guys. We are moving, uh, slowly but surely towards where we want to be, which is getting Benny. Um, that's gonna be the next step. Probably not the next video, but that's the next main step. As for the next video, I think we'll start off by going to the Bottle Cap Press. We might even talk to the guy who does the Sunset Sarsaparilla things and see if we can get our hands on the special weapon. Um, after that, we might try to find a way to get around getting Sharon Cassidy killed by the Van Graffs, but also simultaneously helping the Van Graffs to uh, do that mission, the sting operation, I like to call it. Uh, that we did in our last playthrough, but we have to do again in this one. But once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Like, subscribe, anything you guys uh, do helps the channel out. Uh, especially, it helps you guys out too if you like watching Fallout clips and Fallout Let's Plays. So, feel free. Have a wonderful day. Bye.